Johnny Walker on the top, running through the clock. I'm on a shit list. Had to make my own fucking coffee this morning. Good morning, oh. folks. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Bustello Talk. You got me, comedian Marcus McNeil. And you got me, Bunny, Erica Osha. Shout out to A Walk on the Beat once again for my intro. Y'all go log, you know, hit that guy if you need beats, fire. If you need beats, he's a problem. You see where I'm at? Talk nice to us. Shout out to my guy, Rocky. Ain't nothing better. Rocky, I'm still waiting. Extra small. Merry Christmas. Yo, so we back, man. We back. We yes. had a we had a nice week a, weekend. Yeah, and a night or well, nice well the day prior. You know, we the next day. We had a nice uh, intro. A lot of comments. A lot of a lot of you know positive feedback. feedback. Yes. So that's dope. We appreciate y'all for that. Um, keep it going. Keep it going. So today's topic. Is going to be what questions do you ask on a first date what questions do you ask on the first date and I think you got some responses off that yeah so let's start with some of the responses that I got again I posted the question on my Instagram so these responses I'm not too sure if they for me or if they're in general I I uh, I'm stuck still as far as questions I just come at it here different way but... <laughs> So one person said, he would ask, what are you looking for? Because we can't get time back. What? I totally understand that. Time is something that you can't get back so you don't want to waste it. What are you looking for because you can't get time back? Yeah, so I guess it's a little broad. And I guess he mean like what okay, type of relationship to, he, he, or like what situation are you hmm. looking for? So he don't waste his time. Got you. Okay. That's that's how I take it. Somebody said, "Do you have health insurance?" Good question. Great question, actually. That's an adult question. That is a responsible adult question because we have a lot of adults, but they're not responsible. So we have a lot of adults who don't even have dental coverage. Can y'all believe that? So that would be one of my questions. Do you have health insurance? Do you have health insurance? I do. What about you? I have. Absolutely. Good one. This okay. is why okay. they fucking be the dentist trying to. Take all your money Give me now. cavities I don't even have. <laughs> I don't even see it. This is the best question that I got. He said, how was your childhood? And are you over that shit? So mm. I feel like mm. that is a great question because mm. a lot of us have some that person's intelligent. trauma. That's a fact. As kids. And we don't realize it until we get older and have our own kids. And then sometimes it'll be a little too late. And then we don't get help for it if we don't know how to deal with it. Yo, that, that, that shit is so such that a, is a wonderful question. That's, so, that's such a real question. Listen, let me say something to you. That shit is so real because, I mean, I didn't... I, okay, I've been with a female who... Had a, the trauma? I had the... Most of us have trauma. The problem is you don't recognize it. Right. When right, you don't, right. when you're in denial, and don't recognize your, and or don't recognize your issue, you just gonna you gonna fuck our, our life up. Right, right. And I don't need none of what you got. Agreed. I could learn that early just by the way you reacting and acting and shit. And I'm like, I'm good. What happened? You happened. You don't know what you gonna do. <laughs> now it was the one my ex. You know she had a lot of bullshit, but I just had to help her to grow. But it came to a point where she was just going to be whoever she going to be for the rest of her life, which is a lot of people we know like that. I mean, there's older people like they never right. Change. So I feel like you can't help someone who doesn't already want to help themselves. Right, and 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 it's it's, it's crazy. That's a good question of whoever you are, smart, smart. Yes. So someone said they'll ask, "What's your favorite food?" That's a good question for me because I like to eat. So if you're interested in my that, favorite food. Uh, that means you're you're gonna be interested in me. I also had someone that asked, "Are you family oriented, and where do you see yourself in three years?" I feel like those are necessary questions to ask on a first date, because if you know you're family oriented, and you have goals and plans in the next three years, the person that you're trying to be with should be somewhat on your level, right? Okay. I'm so I see. feel like that's a good question too. Someone said, "Is we fucking or not?" 
Now, this may seem like the wrong question to ask on a first date, but believe it or not, it may be a good question to ask, depending on the type of girl that you're on a first date with. And from his question, we we kind of understand what type of girl he would be on the first date with. Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... That no right. judgment. Depending on the question, okay. Sex is important. If we get deep into the question, sex is important. I feel like we should get that shit out the way early to figure out what's happening here. <laughs> because who knows? Yeah. I disagree. I get it. I disagree. I feel like because it, listen, I've been in a relationship long term with and settled. Uh, with the sex all right so this long-term relationship was this talked about before it became a relationship or did you kind of just spend time with each other and time passed now you with this person for years and you just do relationship shit well no no it was it was a relationship you talked about it yeah agreed hey we're going to be in a relationship yes because a lot of people be in situations that turn into ships right this this one was a relationship and I settled and I knew it I knew I was settling but you know sucker for love ass nigga <laughs> and just was uh, but at least you hence, it. hence I see it at the time <laughs> things have changed sucker is going dramatically all right you done fucked up <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was all right so someone else said who's paying this bill let's get let's, let's hold on Sex is the best bet sex bill. Like, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Who's yeah. paying this bill? Yeah, who's paying this bill? Because um, I feel like <laughs> if you asked me on a date. Now, was that a male or a female? This was a me? male who said, who's paying the bill? I don't know if he being sarcastic. He may be because it's a bunch of emojis after the response. So he may be sarcastic. But you do have some niggas like that. They'll ask you out on a date and think y'all supposed to go have. I've had a situation like that before. if it's not talked about we go and have and you ask me on a date i'm assuming that you're paying the bill here's the thing right hmm. i'm it depends on how the bill is going the bill the, the date is going what? okay if if i'm with you and the date is going left i'm exiting stage left merry christmas i'm not paying shit i don't give a fuck i ain't gonna see you again i don't even know who cares? It depends on how left is going. What but, the fuck? Right. So, let's say you're a weirdo. <laughs> if I'm not going to see you again, it doesn't matter. We going Dutch. I'm not paying for nothing. Oh, this nigga did But this. do you express that? Yeah, absolutely. In the beginning? In the beginning or as the date is turning bad, do you express, look, look, this date ain't working out. I feel like we should go Dutch. I will. I'll be like, yo, we going to have? I don't believe you. That's a fact. Okay. I told a chick her vagina smell in the middle of sex and to stop having sex with her. This is a but fact. But you already started having sex and then in the middle of it told her her vagina smell? Fourth stroke. So. You didn't know about the first? No. Because, mm. you know, it takes like it, four good. <laughs> pump, mm. pump, pump. That scent mm. come up and it's just a timberlake. Go. So. So, so yes. I, I'm, I'm straightforward like that. Mostly. Most people aren't. Now, now, the question was, like, it was a situation where a chick asked me out. So if you're asking me, if you're asking a man, mm -hmm. am I supposed to pay? Well, I feel like if you, the female, ask the man to go out, you should be paying. I just feel like, in general, if you are the person who volunteered or asked the person to go out, that you're fronting that bill. That's why you asked. Mm. That's how I feel. I I I go as far as and and and, and females can vouch. So I'll be like, yo, you taking me out? Now, if you do that, if you doing that, <laughs> you t uh, if you asking me about oh. me volunteering to take right. you out, are you taking me out? Right. It's either one of two things for me. It's mm. either you have the money to pay for it, but mm. you don't have the transportation. So you asking me because I have the transportation. That's funny. That's how so I take. Because there's no way that you're asking me if mm -hmm. I'm taking you out mm -hmm. and I'm paying that bill. Because if I wanted to go out, I would have called you and said, hey, come out with me. 
but that wasn't the case. Yep. I don't judge. Some I, people I, don't have cars, and I understand. I, I know I get used for really? my car. People you invite me places because I have a car. I don't take it personal. You are very. She, 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 I don't take it she's personal. very fully aware of what's happening. That's what. That's I'm what brought very me. Very aware of my. This is what brought me toward her. She's very fully aware. First, it was energy. <laughs> Always aware. And then very Always. fully aware of fucking everything. She knows. I know I'm being used for my looks for this situation. I know I'm this motherfucker here, which is dope. I love it. I'm okay with it. Okay. What was the next So year? we said, someone said, what are your pet peeves? Hmm. I could. Who's yours? Uh, cigarette smokers. I hate cigarette smokers. Mm. I mean, that's your choice, but I can't be in a relationship with someone who smokes cigarettes. Mm -hmm. I tried. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work mm -hmm. because it falls into the chemistry, affection, and all of that good stuff. Because now you smell like cigarettes, so I don't want to lay under you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to kiss you. So now you feel like I'm not being affectionate. And it just, it just, it's bad for me. It's bad. Mm -hmm. I tried it. I don't like it. Pineapples. It's over. Okay. Mine is stupidity. I'm allergic to stupidity. <sighs> and liars. Don't fucking but, lie. Don't even tell me. But don't lie. All right. So we have a liar and then we have someone who doesn't tell the whole truth. I, I'm going to figure it I'm going to pinpoint that because I'm good at that. Okay. I'm good at, right. let, you know, right. I'm good at, you good at that too. I, I'm good at that. But the lies, yo, I hate that shit. Just, you know, nigga, just, I, first of all, I'm, I'm a realist about a lot of shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's okay. I know that X, Y, and Z, like, for example, I know I just met you. Mm -hmm. I can't expect you to not be fucking somebody. Right. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't tell me some bullshit, that, you know. Just don't lie. I promise you, it'll get you a lot further with me. Right. But go ahead. I agree. Someone said, where are you from? Followed by, what are you into? Hobbies, where you like to hang out, etc." I feel like that's a good question to ask on a first date. Where are you from? Hobbies, etc. Yeah, you want to know what the fuck you want to do with type of plan? Yeah. yeah women, women, women are annoying sometimes. I had a woman tell me, uh, and this is, this so goes in. I'm about to make shirts like this. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say it. Extra small. I'm going to make shirts to say this. Uh, she said, because I'm like, you know how chicks be on some, yo, what you, I don't know what I want, I don't know what I want. And then they always on some bullshit when you like, suggest something. Like for us food or just Yeah, just general? going to places and okay. doing something. Like Where I'm, you want to go, I'm what you want to do. Or, she said, like, she's hungry. She's like, I know what I don't I, want. I, I, I don't know what I want, but I know what I don't want. That makes sense. That shit is retarded to men. No, that that makes I, yeah, it makes total sense, sense. But it's a pain in the ass so because I, now no. I got my mouth watered up for some Mexican because you said pick a place and I don't fucking pick Mexico and then now you don't want to go. I got an attitude. What the fuck? Pick something. Well, me, I'm picky, but I'm not that picky. I can always find something in any food place to eat. Right. Because I'm not picky. But I do have specific taste buds that if I have a taste and I don't get it, I'm not going to be satisfied until I get that taste. So I respect that. It's, that's the problem for me. I eat all the time. My friends know. They, they call me greedy. They call me a, a skinny girl on a fat chick body. Yeah, Where yeah. does the food go? I say my head because my head is big, you know, alien shape. But, you know. See, food, fully aware. Food, food, oh, is, food is my thing. Right. Food. So someone asks, uh, someone said they were asked, how long ago was your last relationship? I feel like that's kind of like 50-50. On a first date, okay. you shouldn't even care about that. I like you guys. I mean, it, it could be a good question depending on what you're looking for on your first date. I don't know, but I feel like that could come later on in life. Someone else said they were asked, are you happy with where you are in life right now? I think that is an okay question. For a first date, what you think? That's a good question. I asked, I asked something similar to that. Like, yo, are you doing what makes you happy? Same shit. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing. Same shit. But, you know, comprehension nowadays is kind of, uh, how should I say, far-fetched. That's a fact. So, 
sometimes you got to be careful how you word or say things because people might not comprehend it the right way right. just from my experience someone else said they were asked what are some goals you want to reach in life mm -hmm. i think that's a good question that's good make you think and make you say hmm that's the good. best question of all female virgo just like me she asked she said she would ask do you believe in god I feel like that's a good question too. Cause a lot of people don't believe in that. A lot of people don't. A lot of people yeah. don't. But um, I feel like it's a good question. So you know what you're dealing with, what you're working with. Yeah. Someone said, when can we? So I'm, I'm assuming that it's for me because I posted it. So I. This guy's a the, the answer to your question, when can we? Uh, what do you think? I, I can't tell you. Are you a fister? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And someone also asked the same kind of question. What are your goals and aspirations for the future? I think it's a decent question. So, what? Oh, this one, this last one. Someone said they were asked, what is the competition to me gaining your attention? Uh, there is no competition. And, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that they're talking to me. So there is no competition and you can't gain my attention it's already being occupied sorry 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 uh, there's a lot of guys still shooting the shot though hey <laughs> you keep shooting buddy eventually you'll get it in <laughs> uh, oh wait wait i got one more someone said what's the worst shit i need to know about you damn do you really want to do people really answer that like would you be yes. honest right that's that's weird. I don't know. That's weird. So then, so then, what coexists with this thing was the next type. What's the stupid? What is it? What's the thing? What is a stupid question to ask what's, on the first what, date? Right. What what stupid questions are they asked on the first date? Something like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. So for me, on the first date, dumb you, questions on the first date. Dumb questions on the first dumb date. Ass so for me, a dumb question on the first date would be. Uh, what size shoe you wear? Why do you need to know that on the first date? Why does that matter? What, a, a female as you? No, a male asked me on the first date what size shoe and I wear. Typical follow-up question for a female would probably be, why are you about to give me something? I'm not even asking her. I'm not asking her. Because you already you already painting the wrong picture for me. You're not answering it. I'm not answering it. Because I feel like the first day, you don't need to know what my shoe size is. Different type of chick. She's doesn't matter. She doesn't uh, paint the wrong picture. She don't want what you got, is what she said. It's not that I don't want what you got. Mm. I feel like you implicating you're going to try to buy Bye. me or persuade me by saying what size shoe you wear so I can fake get excited because you're going to buy me some shoes. I could buy my own shoes. But there's a lot of females out there who's like, nigga, Seven. <laughs> Six and a half. Fuck that. Later on, a couple of dates later, you make an axe with size shoe you wear. Okay. Not the first date for me. I, 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 somebody asked me a dumb question before. Like, oh, what's your... For my whole birthday, which is, you know, year... I think that's too much information. Yeah, and everything. Like... What? What's happening right now? We fucking the feds? We trying to steal my credit? Yeah, I feel like that's too much. Like, what do you... Uh, why? 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 she needed to know the I year. Even, I even, she could have just asked how old you were. Right. You and did. did the math herself. Did, right. Maybe she didn't want to do the math. I don't even fucking know. My point is, it's just like... And then it was asked later. Like, you're not even... We're not even... We're not even together. You called me on the phone oh, later. After, after I done day. told you. So, like, yo, so, like, what, hold on, hold on. What you got fucking... What you doing? You next to a computer? Fucking, I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> she right. you some bullshit. <laughs> Every now and then you want to probably see the camera shake. That's because of the wind. I get my shit balanced out. But uh, yeah, that's dumb. I'm not answering dumb ass questions. But other than that, I don't know. I don't know what a dumb question is. I don't really ask my questions. Be it's it's different. It's like a my questions play are different. Stuff. So I'm gonna ask you stuff like, uh, do you have a baby mother? And if they that's say yes, me. that's not typical. Female shit. It's not typical. I mean, because the follow-up question is what not make it typical. So if you say you have a baby mother, my next question is, 
are you with your baby mother? And if you're not, do she know that you're not with her? Because a lot of dudes don't be in a relationship with their baby mother, but the baby mother don't know that they're not in a relationship with their baby father. Right. Understand what I mean? Yeah, they still be fucking. Damn. Yeah. I did. So I, I ask follow-up questions to those type of questions. You know? How many kids you have? Okay. How many mothers? You got three kids, three mothers? Okay, this is going to be the last date. So anything else after that doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. That sucks. I'm not judging, but I don't want to deal with that. You Uh you, got to know what you want and need in life. This is the problem that I feel females and males don't do. We don't Mm. sit down and evaluate ourselves and where we at in life at the moment and decide what is best for us at the top. So for me, three kids... Three mothers to the kids, not dealing with that. Although I don't want to be nobody's stepmother or step parent or anything like that, but I just don't want to deal with it. Cause if I want to go out, I don't want to hear, oh, I gotta find, a, I gotta watch my kid. No, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. I know, I know for um, I don't know for for my. It's funny cause I only, I only deal with taking the dog. I only deal with. I'd rather deal with a chick with kids or who don't want kids. Because, nigga, every girl want to have kids with me for some reason. Who the fuck am I, Jay-Z? Uh, I don't know. You're not. Oh, oh. Yeah, she's a woman. It's okay. a girl. Though. She's good. All right. Yo. <laughs> Go sit down. Go sit. That's funny as hell. All right, yo. Once again. We appreciate y'all for joining us at Bustelo Talk. Good morning. I hope we helped your morning be better. Y'all got some more dumb questions or questions y'all been in situations <laughs> with and all that shit. Go to the bottom. Let us know what somebody asked you. Uh, debate about it. Go back and forth about it. We love y'all. We thank y'all. We see y'all next time on Bustelo Talk. Thank you for tuning in. Questions, comments, concerns. Peace!